Ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk. Now, yesterday, I did a video about the new updates to DVAI. This update really got me thinking because this is definitely a breakthrough for freelance designers. Now, why I say this is because normally when we design websites, um, the starting point is usually quite difficult because you need some sort of inspiration. But when you start designing your website from a blank canvas, it can be very daunting. So when I saw that you could go in, enter a prompt, and DVAI will produce the layout for you. I was super excited. And for sure, now DV has become a tool that is super powerful. And this has now become a tool that can really genuinely make you money. Not only are you going to spend some money just to purchase the, the license, but now you can make money with DV just by rolling out quick layouts, quick websites, and so on. So if you're a freelancer and you're seriously thinking about um, going into the web design business, I think this is the right opportunity because, wow. Now, before I go further, I want to go back to the pre-made layouts. Now, for the many, many years that I've used Divi, I've never really used the pre-made layouts because sometimes the, the way the pages are put together, it's so complicated that if you try to change the content, it just breaks everything. So in the end, you end up deleting sections, you end up deleting modules, and you might as well have started all over again, designing the whole layout by yourself. So with AI now, I noticed that the layouts are much better. They are not too detailed because you don't want layouts where if you start um, making it mobile friendly, you start struggling again on uh, how to make it look great. Which brings me to the next question. And that is, are these layouts mobile friendly? Because if they are, then this is huge. Because obviously we know that uh, when we design our websites, majority of people uh, see our websites from mobile devices too. So the websites being mobile friendly is definitely very, very important. So that's something I need to really investigate. But of course, it's early days. Uh, this is the first iteration of uh, DVAI, which allows us to uh, design complete pages from scratch. So I'm pretty sure that in the future, they are going to add even more features, like, for example, with uh, DV5, DV6, the ability to have these uh, layouts be created in Flexbox or even uh, CSS Grid. That, to me, is going to be a game changer. So I'm really looking forward to this because, wow, things have really changed. There are moments where I feel like Div is not moving, moving fast enough and I do get impatient and I'm sure you've noticed this. But uh, with the way things are going now, they are just surprising me over and over again, especially at that moment where I feel like, oh, when are we going to get a reasonable update? Then we get like a bombshell of an amazing update. So this is very, very exciting and this is a very key moment in DVAI. Now, I also have uh, some advice when you use DVAI. If you're going to use AI to create your layouts, use this as a starting point because if you are just going to push out the websites as they are, it won't really work. This is just helping us to get a very good foundation uh, and then we can now go in and do some tweaks, add on our images, but it would have saved us pretty much 50-60% of the time we need to um, design these layouts from scratch. The other thing I also want to talk about is I'm curious because this AI, does it pull from a large pool of layouts? And with these layouts per industry, how many layouts are they? I know these sounds like crazy questions, but I'm curious to find out, let's say if we were to create a website for a burger joint, how many different types of layouts are they? That could be quite interesting to know. And uh, perhaps maybe Elegant Themes could uh, re um, answer this. The images. Again, the library of images. Where are the images being pulled from? That's, again, another very important uh, question. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to have the same images 
uh, on your layouts over and over again. So if you're going to have a massive pool in the future to pull our images from, this again is going to be very, very exciting. But like I said, I know with this type of technology, it's technology that's progressing. We are going to see a lot of uh, changes in the future as AI gets better and better. So I'm super excited. And for those of you that haven't purchased a DV license yet, this is the time. Guys, I'm telling you, as I've mentioned before, if you don't take this opportunity to log into the lifetime membership, you're going to miss out because I'm pretty sure they're going to move from the normal membership onto pretty much a subscription because business-wise, that's what makes sense. So I would highly recommend that you go purchase your lifetime license. I've got a lifetime license. You won't go wrong. And I also want to assure you that I will continue doing the DV tutorials. There's no way my channel is going to completely stop doing DV tutorials. I'm going to continue doing them. So you're always going to get um, great ideas and ways to use DV and so on. And as you know, we have DV5 on the way. We also have DV6 on the way too. Now, all these are versions that are going to definitely make the process of web designing very, very exciting. And I also have a bonus, by the way, in case you didn't know, if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link in the video description below, I'm also going to give you access to Divi University. Now, Divi University is worth 599. Right now, there isn't a lot of action yet. But very soon, we're going to have a lot going on in terms of courses, in terms of how we can use Divi to make us money. It's just that uh, I'm debating whether I should wait for Divi 5 or should I create some courses now? It's something that I'm really thinking about because I know for a fact that Divi 5 is going to have a totally different interface. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd talk about Divi AI and how excited I am with it. So uh, check it out. The link to that is in the video description below. The video I made yesterday, I'll also link it up in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.